Here's where you can find Zarya's creations on social media. Hey guys, while you're here, why not subscribe to this channel? And if you really like us, click that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when there's a new video posted to this channel. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up before you go. Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. And today y'all, I am moving back in to my A5 um, binder planner, A5 planner, I guess. I don't know, I'm calling it a binder because it has rings in it. Um, I had this, and it's so clean. I've had it for a couple of years and I barely even used it. And I'll show you, I started when I first got it, I used it and then um, I was after I bought it I was introduced to the happy planner so these are some other things I think I started it back in and then we got firecrackers back in when did I start this what year is this This is 2018 that this was in. So I probably bought it in either 2018 or 2017. I don't know. And then I tried to come back to it. As you can see, there actually are Happy Planner stickers in here. Um, because right after I purchased it, I got introduced to the Happy Planner. And so I kind of put this down and um, kind of fell by the wayside. But I have been looking or trying to figure out what was I going to do for a business planner. Because I have my catch-all happy planner. I have my budget planner. I have my faith planner. But I needed something that um, that is strictly for business. To keep everything separate. Oh, and I'm sorry I'm I'm hitting the um, camera. The tripod. So, I just I, when I went to Hobby Lobby and during my haul. <clears throat> and hopefully you guys will get to see this video. It actually, um, I recorded it on my camera versus my phone, and it uploaded in a different format, and I'm trying to convert it. Not only that, the program that I'm using, I used it once before, and it didn't have a watermark, so I don't know if they just gave me a freebie for that one, but now they're trying to force me to purchase the watermark so that I can get their name taken off, which I really don't want to do. Because if that's the case, then I'll just keep with my um, phone and keep recording on my phone. So, I am going to move into this. So I'm going to move out of this, the original content that I purchased from Michaels. And um, the person who got me onto this was At Home with Nikki. I love her channel. She is an organizer and um, at home as well as work. So she has two channels. One is at home with Nikki and the other one is at work with Nikki. So I purchased this following her. Um, and then I was in introduced to the Happy Planner. So I am going to come out of here. And I love these colors. I am a natural color, a natural girl. I love these colors. So I'm actually going to keep a lot of the pages because I'm going to actually go through it and see uh -oh, my page marker doesn't want to come out and see what can be recycled since it matches. And I was going to purchase another um, binder, but I was like, I didn't even use this one. So we're going to make the best of this. Oh, it doesn't have, oh yes it does down here. All right, so I'm gonna take out all of these and I'm gonna find somewhere to put them where I can keep them and not use them. I see the dividers are all in gold foil. So. Yeah. I'm gonna put this somewhere safe. And watch, I'm saying I'm going to put it somewhere safe, but watch me lose it. It'll be safe. It'll be it'll be kept safe from me. And it will definitely be lost. Hopefully not, but we'll see. 
All right, so here I have the empty binder, and this is probably just my ink pen that was on here, and I do have another ink pen from here. Oh, actually, I think I like the grandbaby. I think I saw some pages of what they call Scribble Scribble, um, and I like the grandbaby either. So I'm getting my Agenda 52 together, and I did not pay the regular price. It was actually on sale for 40% off, and it's a 12-month undated planner and I really liked the dividers do justly love mercy walk humbly have a sweet Sunday rooted in the Lord so I guess this is kind of like an inspirational faith um planner but I did not see that first Corinthians 13 13 I did not see that when I purchased it which it's okay by me because I am a faith girl, but I'm going to be using it for business. I like that the paper is not white. It's actually an off color. So I really do like that. Then looking from looking from here, you can see the months, January through December. So what I'm going to do is take everything up until June and flip it to the back. But I'm going to keep this one. And I'm gonna flip it to the back because I'll just use that at the beginning of next year. And then I'm gonna put these in, let's see. Couple at a time. And what will be easier, easy too as well is that I do have a hole punch for this type planner. So, um, if I want to do some inserts, I saw loads of videos, um, and I don't even know why I was watching those videos, because I definitely was not utilizing the A5, but I saw loads of videos and inserts. On the A5, so I'll be able to do some. All right, let's go back to just doing a few. I'll be able to do some. So this mainly will stay home unless outside opens up and I go to somewhere like Starbucks or wherever. And this is the, this is a card that I purchased from one of my um, mentors. Um, Dr. Stacia Pierce, and it just says blogging, sharing, connecting, creating, inspiring. There's some other cards. Um, and then on the back, I'm supposed to write my ideas for 10 blog topics. That was already in there. And I do have a blog. That's why I have that. Um, if you want to stop by zariescreations.com. I, I have it up on one domain, and I'm thinking about switching over to another domain. So, if you go up and you get that 404 message, that means I am actually transitioning it over to another domain. Even though I just, um, yeah. So, I haven't been on it in a while, but I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do with it. And I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do with the blog. All right. So, back to the planner. So, here is the cover. Faith, Hope, and Love. This planner belongs to you. Belongs to me. This is notes and things. So here is June. And I may go back and do something. So this pretty much is a um, faith planner. Which I did not uh, realize that again when I purchased it. 
So here's the monthly and I can put my dates in, write some notes here on the side. And um, the good thing is these pages are blank. Sunday is still church day. So that is fine. And so what I'll be writing in here is what I'm doing for my business um, on these days. Things that I have planned or even going back because sometimes at the spur of the moment, I'm creating something. I could put it in here. I could even put in when I have orders. Um, did I get them out? If I need to make errands pertaining to the business or if I need to make a list of supplies. And then here I will probably at the end of the week track my numbers. Like how many followers do I have um, on YouTube and Etsy. And I do have a Twitter. I don't really utilize Twitter. Um, I don't know if I'm too old for Twitter, but I really don't utilize it. Um, and then the back, it has um, the notes and things on here. So I'm very cool and okay with the spiritualness, spiritual inspiration on each divider. I'm cool with that. Um, and then... Um, Actually, I may write some prayers for my business, so there's no reason for me not to utilize this. I may do a prayer each month for my business. Um, I kind of like that idea and some notes and things that I want to um, jot down for the month of July. So that was July, and every month pretty much seems to be the same, so I'll skip through. This is the cover for August, which is pretty. Then we have September. And I guess that's a cactus. Hmm. October, you are my rock. November, which is my month. All I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. That is perfect for the month of November for me. Yes, because I wear myself out. It's birthday time and I, I wear myself out from November 1st to November 30th. And... All I can say is, during this month, all I need is coffee and a whole lot of Jesus to get me through. And then we have December. Patience, trust, grace, love. I love this. And then we have a foil blessed in here. And then it goes to January. Do justly, love, mercy, walk humbly. Micah 6, 8. So, I like that. Have a sweet Sunday is for February. Stand firm in your faith for March. Rooted in the Lord for April. And then I am wonderfully and fearfully made. And so that pretty much is it. But I'll be able to also write down like if I'm following particular YouTubers, and that I get inspired by, I can actually track that down in here as well. Any training classes that I'm taking, I just finished, um, I think it's over the Michaels classroom where um, my creative mentor, Karen Baxter, actually was teaching for the last four classes. And um, I'm assuming that's it because I haven't seen any other notifications to sign up. For that class, and oh my ink pen. This is my pen I got from, I want to say Urban Outfitters. I don't know, I just think it's super cute, even if it doesn't match. But this will be my business planner. And I also had like some daily sheets, which I can't find. I had some daily sheets that I was going to um, insert in here because it has. Um, a pocket here I would be able to put it there or a pocket in the back does it yes and that would be able to cover up and I could just tear it off which um unbelievable that I can't find it because it's been around right, so I found my daily sheets um and this was also from Dr. Stacia Pierce where I can just write out my intentions my to-dos, I can put holes in them and punch them out later once I write the date on them. So I want, I do want to put that in here. Hopefully it will, I think it'll fit. 
Yay. Let's see, can you move the pen? Just a little, yep. So I have my um, my daily success in there, and yes, it will still close. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. And then I may um, decorate it just a little bit more. I may add some things in here. I don't know, maybe I'll go back to watching some videos. But I do like my planner. And yeah, I am going to use this for business um, and add faith to my business. Hey, I'm all for it. <laughs> Have no problems with that. All right, guys, let me know down below in the comments. If you're using an A5 planner, how are you doing with your A5? Are you um, purchasing sheets from a store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby? Or are you purchasing your inserts from a shop? Um, let me know how it is working for you, and especially if you're using a separate planner for your business. Let me know if how that's working for you as far as keeping up with it and keeping track. That is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button to be the first to know when there's a new video posted to this channel. And make sure you follow me not only on Instagram, but at my Etsy shop, which is Zarya's Creations Co. And until next time, See ya.